guys, welcome to Nerd Locker Podcast, your entertainment podcast for everything movies, television, video games, and more. My name's Adam. I guess I'm Oliver still. Kinda. Yeah. All right, guys, so we are going over the season finale of The Boys. And guys, this one was oh. ridiculous. This was crazy shit. Like, this was a really was a good lot season. going on. I think it was a good season. Overall, it was good. good season. Yeah. A lot of fucked Some up of moments. it was a little too much. A lot of fucked up moments. So we got like, we got more of the shapeshifter with Starlight and how she kind of like basically raped Huey multiple times and proposed to him. And it took a while for Huey to like kind of catch on. He got little glimpses, but like eventually caught on to that. And then we see that the shapeshifter had to go back to Starlight to like reinvigorate her. Yeah, right. And guys, we're going to go over like bit by bit, quick as hell uh, to go over this because. We are tired, not only that, but we also have a next week, which is going to be Deadpool, where we're actually, I have a monitor, now he has a monitor, so get ready for some longer form podcasts starting next week. Um, So, anyways, going into more of the uh, details of this, we get uh, Robert Singer about to get into office, Mm -hmm. and in this Interview on the news. We have Firecracker, Homelander, and Newman. And Homelander outs Newman as a soup, which Newman's on like, public oh, fuck that. Yeah. Live television. Fucking nuts. So she is really pissed off about this. So she starts freaking out and like basically joins the boys, which should be a death sentence anyway. But while this is happening, Butcher's in the hospital and dealing with whatever he's dealing with. And he invites Ryan over and we get Grace coming back. To talk about like what's going on with everything and like getting Ryan to a place of being trained. And as they're going through this and they're about to take Ryan, Ryan just says, fuck it, and kills Grace. So now we have one less person. And he runs off. And Butcher, it seems like he's in pursuit of Ryan, but we find out later he's not. And because he's been watching the news. So while this is all going on, Homelander gives the rest of the seven, and by the seven, I mean the four. <laughs> yeah, they are the uh, seven. Anymore. Yeah. Instructions to kill everyone that knows about this stuff. So the Deep, Noir, and Firecracker go off and just fart, start fucking going off on this people, list. Dude, just n- killing everyone. And Firecracker using a gun, showing that she has no real fucking powers. But then the Deep and Noir are just going to like fucking stabbing people and bashing people's head ends. Like, it's fucking nuts, it's dude. It's kind of wild. It's all anarchy like everything's going down and then we get the biggest fucking twist because i did not expect this so newman is going through and like joining with the boys and everything and then all of a sudden we get butcher coming up after getting out of the hospital and he's like i will take care of this and kessler i guess this tumor tentacle thing like takes over tumor comes personality out or something. of butcher and just rips newman apart R.I.P. Newman, dude. So, like, we are now seeing, but, and then he, like, basically burns every bridge he has with the boys. Like, that's it. That's done. It's like Butcher, and then there's the boys. Like, Butcher is so far a part of it. And, like, I know where this might be going. Like, I've talked about this before, and I'll talk about spoilers after uh, the break, but, like, this is getting to a point where I think think i know where season five is going and i'll make some predictions and we will is season some, five the last season yep yeah. and we'll put some stakes on it and everything but uh before we get into all that here is a word from our sponsor let's talk about data breaches you know how creepy it is to get ads that are like way targeted it's absurd i literally got a text the other day and it just said hello oliver how are you today i'm like I don't know you. How do you know my name? What's happening? I sometimes respond. I'm like, who is this? And they're like, nah. They're like, they don't respond back at all. Yeah. I also get like weird Instagram ads, things like that. It's so weird. And the thing is, like these data brokers, they have your full name, your address, your email, and your health records. Uh, They sell it all for like a buck, dude. dude. Quick quick dollar. Honestly, so that's why I started using Aura. Um, It's like a superhero for your privacy. It's great. It's amazing. Um, It scans the dark web for your information that's being sold and then bam automatically opts you out of those shady websites so you don't get those really creepy messages that i definitely don't like you get less spam and that's just the beginning like having your info out there makes you a target for hackers who could also just crack into your social media bank accounts and the whole nine 
Really? Huh. Well, you know, the thing is with Aura, they go above and beyond just privacy, though. They also have VPNs, they also have antivirus, and they have a password manager, like, you know, someone that doesn't forget. What? <laughs> <laughs> they even have parental controls and uh, identity theft insurance. It's, it's all pretty good. Not only that, it just keeps it simple instead of all those different apps that you have to download and stuff like that. It's really, really annoying. Um, but look, I know you might already have some of these features covered, but think of it like this. Aura has 24-7 security. That's that's like the whole week and then some hours. That's crazy. That, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's like all the hours. Yeah, it's all that's the all hours. That's all the hours. Um, it's basically a 24-7 security guard working tirelessly in the background so you can browse, game, and stream with a peace of mind. It's honestly one of the best services, guys, especially for different things. Instead of all the malware protection, you get your own VPN service, all that stuff in one. You get VPN? And, and VPN, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So honestly, with all that, you can get a – it's all for an affordable price too. But if you guys want to try it out, you guys can go to Aura.com slash NerdLocker, and you guys can get a two-week free trial to try it out and see exactly how it is. It's going to change everything for you guys. It was – crazy less how much of my spam, stuff is on the dark web less spam it, it's so much on the dark web guys they have all the information that you can even think of like just do yourself a favor make your online life a lot easier with aura.com slash nerd locker down below get a two-week free trial two-week free trial huh yep. I like 14 it. days 14 whole yeah you got 14 fingers over there 10 and 4 14 <laughs> that's not four you just did this <laughs> pick number three my lord and we're back. So I want to talk really quickly about where this could be going. So without getting into like my review of the season in general, again, I've talked about this before, guys, but minor spoilers because they could pivot so hard at this point with everything like Newman dying. That was crazy. Is not really something that happened in the comics. That really? Went down. Oh, okay. That's good. I like so that. So I think like, okay, so – Spoilers, if you don't want to hear anything, skip ahead about two minutes. I'm going to try to get this wrapped up in two minutes. But in the comics, Butcher goes fucking nuts like he is now. The difference is, is when he took the Temp B, he kept those specific powers. It wasn't like a tentacle monster coming out. And with his powers, he decides, fuck this. I'm just going to do what I got to do. I got to get people on my side, but I also have to show. like, like He just goes bad to like dude hits the wall so hard and in the comics he ends up confronting uh, mm's mm -hmm. uh wife or ex-wife oh, okay and his daughter and kills both in front of mm damn and then kills mm afterwards Shit. i don't know if that's where we're getting to but considering there's one more season and you have to wrap up so much it's like he's going down this big road. I think that's where this is going. And if they don't give it to M.M. and his family, they could give it to, like, Frenchie and Kimiko. Like, right. in the same way of, like, watching someone die and then you die as well. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay. You leave it. Well, yeah, we're recording. Okay. Good night. That was, that was, that was Grandma Sphere That was over Oliver's there. Uh, grandmother. Yeah. Grandma Sphere. Grandma hanging Sphere. out. She's staying in the next room. <laughs> um... But yeah, so like I think like that's where we're headed is Butcher doing some fucked up shit in the next season. Mm -hmm. Like he is so far past gone, and I still think we're gonna get Jeffrey D. Morgan. And uh, like we said before, there's probably not gonna be a situation of a scene between him and uh, Soldier Boy unless Jeffrey D. Morgan's character Joe Kessler was around during the Soldier. Boy I don't stuff think there's prior. gonna be that. That's the only way I could see it happening, but. We don't know who exactly, like, because Butcher kind of, like, did a lot of missions without knowing the details of it back in the day. <clears throat> so it could be easily, like, him and Kessler are fighting. He leaves Kessler for dead, and, like, Soldier Boy shows up and kills Kessler. Could be. And that could be the person that killed him. So there could be that kind of uh, dynamic. And, like, going further into this, like, next season we could see more of Maeve because we know she's not dead. She just faked her death. So, like, she's still out there. We have a lot of different, like, characters and stuff. We know Jared Padalecki's coming back or coming into the se or the series next season. So there's a lot of, like, potential for all that stuff. And then also the other big thing from this episode before we get into our rating is fucking uh, Ashley. 
Yeah, that was so crazy. Ashley was on the top of the list to kill. They couldn't find her because she ran off and took Compound V. What the fuck could this? And we be? haven't seen it yet. I have a funny feeling we're gonna see whatever happened with her in Gen V season two, because we know that uh, R.I.P. Chance, the one that played uh, right, the guy who gets super hot. Yeah. Oh no, the metal. Oh yeah, the metal yeah, guy. He yeah. did pass away in real life, so they're going to acknowledge that his character passed away in the show. Mm-hmm. They've confirmed that. So, however, they do that. So they're not doing whatever they want to do. Because like we did that. get to see two of Godby's, those two um, golden students, come in, like, arrest Frenchie and Kimiko. So, right. like, they are still very, like, readily in the series in a very smaller part as of right now. But I think, like, Gen V Season 2 is going to really bring them into the forefront and, like, combine these two together. So, like, as much as Season 5 is the last one, we're kind of getting, like, a season and a half because I feel like Gen V is going to be more connected when to the boys that than the first release date for Gen V season 2 I don't think there's a confirmed date but I do know it's going to happen before boys season 5 so it'll probably be like a I would hope so spring show and then go into summer of gotcha. boys season Ooh, season okay. 5 so we got like a little bit back to back so we got like a couple months but I think we're going to get like a lot of boys content this time next year gotcha so um i it just depends on how quickly they could film it because mm-hmm. it did take two years for them to film three to four but i think they were already filming season five in contingency with gen v season two so like hopefully it'll be pretty it's soon be back after back, probably yeah. so I mean, what do you rate it overall okay i rate this episode a 6.5 Okay. Mainly because of like, yes, there was some crazy shit that went down, but at the end of the day, I'm like, oh, this is not episode four. I think episode four spoiled me, like with Homelander going back to where he was. Like, that was, that was the boys. Like, that was the epitome mm-hmm. of the boys. Because it wasn't like too much, like, off the wall. I wouldn't say just sexual stuff, but like off the wall. We got anything. some like root stuff yeah. there. Whereas. Everything like five, six, and seven were very just like craziest shit you could put on television with that in mind. Whereas so, like eight was very docile. So there's that. So what do you rate this episode? What uh, before we get to the season? I rate it an eight. Okay. Um The action was great, the surprises were great, the animation was obviously good. I like the story a lot. Uh, I just still think it's a little too much. Yeah. Just for someone to watch like an hour long episode on yeah. a lot of fucked and the up name shit. Of it, season four finale. Real creative. I want to be a Great. part of that marketing yep. team. Seems like they got off like at 12 PM. <laughs> so I think overall this season, like compared to the others, I don't count season one because I think season one is not fair because that was like big to everyone. So two and three and four, I would rate this a probably at overall Eight. And that's because I think there was more good than bad. But at the same time, I feel like the good could have been better. I'm going to do a seven. Okay. I liked it a lot. Oh, dude, there's so many dicks. <laughs> so many dicks. God, man. So many I could have done without. Yeah. Could have done without. I just, I feel like it was shocking, but like sometimes the shock value dies down. It's weird because I put the eight. In like I, part of the eight is because of the fact that like as crazy as that fucking scene was, to show a human centipede kind of issue. Don't want to see that. No, no, it's not about don't want to see. It's just the fact that like this show has pushed so many boundaries that I think that's why I rate it eight because like one, two, and three, like herogasm in last season was pretty crazy. That was pretty bad. But damn, did they top it and then top it again in this season? But that's a which thing which makes I, me wonder what the fuck. Is I season don't five think have? they should be trying to top things on like shock value in terms of like. I don't think it's shock, no, no. I don't think it's shock value because some from someone that's read all the comics, it's still not that far because everything they've showed is still a PG version of what happened to the comics, even Hero Gasm. So like. The fact that they've still held themselves back, but pushed mm-hmm. the boundary of what. So TV that that we saw are, this season in the comics, not even it's worse. close. Not even close. Go ahead, explain. No, no, I'm like in just general. Like for example, Hero Gasm. Like you saw the things that happened. The difference is like that episode showed you like some 
they insinuated this, that, and the other. But like in the comic, you saw all this stuff that happened. Like for example, there was a big thing where like Herogasm was advertised as like something that the heroes have been doing for a while. What they didn't really get into is how it started. Okay. And in the comics, it was started by Soldier Boy and uh, Stormfront. Okay. And they did it all. And like you saw like in the 40s to the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s till now of like – how it evolved so like they just showed a lot more in the comics like okay. showed a that's lot just more development like, though but they still did it like the sex and the different things that happened throughout the decades so like they didn't show that here they showed us just the end not the beforehand and how like more fucked up it was in the earlier days because like censors weren't a thing and like as fucked up as it sounds prejudice wasn't a thing and blah 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 like so like there was like a lot more like I mean, yeah, I, I guess I they, would, I they would held back on, like, because slave shit in the early times. They so, held like, the back end. because of certain political things, which is understandable. Not only political fine. things, but just in the fact of like, you don't need to advertise that on television. You need to establish like I, they did insinuate that Stormfront and Homeland or uh, Soldier Boy didn't like start it, but they didn't go too much into detail the first time. I would have I would have preferred seeing like how it started. And where it's at, you don't need the in-between. But, like, they just didn't push that. Because I think they wanted to push the fact of Soldier Boy, but, like, invading and, like, trying to kill Homelander during it. They didn't want to, like, confuse people with, wait, is this this time or that right. time? Well, also, you have to keep in mind, like, reading it and visualizing it are two different things. No, because if you read it, it's a comic. You're still visualizing it because it's still You're pictures. visualizing a still picture. A picture. Yeah, but the picture Not an there. animation thing. Yeah, but the That's in live there. action. Yeah, with acting, pictures are still there. Worse pictures than what we see in the live action. It's still something that's different, and yeah. people perceive that as something different. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's why I think it's like sometimes it could be someone who isn't tailored to reading comics, mm -hmm. because I've never read the comics, and sometimes it could be pushed to like, oh, that's a little too much. I think for like a television series. Yeah, I think the difference between this show and like something like The Walking Dead is The Walking Dead makes you really want to feel like you got to read the comics. This show makes you feel like you don't need to, but like it's going to be fun. It's not a necessity. It's a fun thing where with The Walking Dead, you're like, I feel like I need oh, to read where they I'm were going. The, I'm such the opposite. I would rather read The Boys and visualize those things in extreme detail and watch Walking Dead aired on like Amazon or HBO. So this is the reason why I say don't watch the boys. So we're season four in. Fuck it. Like we have one more season left, guys. So when the boys was made, like as a comic. Are we doing spoilers? Is it no, spoilers? No, no, no. It's oh. not really spoilers. When the boys was made as a comic, mm -hmm. the original creator, I forget his name, that wrote the boys, wrote everything. So Huey was supposed to be when they drew the character, pictured the character, wanted to pitch this as a show was Simon Pegg. Okay. That played his dad. Yeah. Okay. So Huey already was a completely different age because it's like add on another like seven years. Like this was supposed to be a much older Huey. Mm -hmm. So they went so far out. Whereas with The Walking Dead, everything was the same in the first season except for two d key points. Daryl. Right. I remember. And the CDC. That's the only you two differences. So like there was – a lot there and not too much. And then season two, the only big difference overall in the arcing, overarching season was the fact that Shane was around, where he wasn't right. around in the farm. And he wasn't around. Yeah. I remember. Season three, pretty much like tit for tat everything. Season four, to the last two episodes, tit for tat everything. It was a terminus thing that was kind of different because the only difference was in the comics, it was just a camp. It wasn't like a full community that was cannibals. It was just like seven people. But the same thing of like ripping someone's throat out, which they push further mm -hmm. into the storyline. So like a lot of that stuff like kind of still seen that way. Walking Dead didn't divert fully until season nine. Okay. Like le legit until Rick left. With this one, they haven't diverted for fully until halfway through this season. And I think that was the Black Noir twist. Like when they decided to like bring back Black Noir, but bring him back and then show his face. That was the big diversion. So I think like with The Walking Dead, you still had three or five seasons of like, okay, 
they're going to try to get back to where they need to go. This one is like, how did they retcon back to the comics in eight more episodes? And I think for me, that's the biggest thing of like, will it hit the mark or will it not? Even as a casual viewer who hasn't seen the comics, it could be a very, very disappointing season, depending on how quickly or how much of a time jump they do. Because they don't need to time jump like years but they should probably time jump a couple of months because right now everyone's still so like babyish. It's like, yo, you're going to really fast forward through it and piss people off because they don't have any character development or you're going to do a time skip, try to like recap that in the first two episodes and have a very solid six. But it really depends. Is the next season six episodes? Eight. Oh, it's eight. Okay. So I'm saying like you have two if you do a time jump to establish And then six to amplify or you have eight to amplify and you're going to really lose people on certain like deaths won't matter as much and big plot twists don't matter as much if you don't give the time for character development. And like Newman, I really thought was going to at least last like maybe the first two or three episodes of season five. So like she did. They are fast forwarding really quick. And I feel like, yeah, like, oh, my God, they killed Newman. That's crazy. But at the same time, you're like, all right. But that shouldn't be it because if you were reading the comic, you'd be like, oh, fuck, they killed Newman. This is not this is not good. See, that, so, I, like, didn't that's think, the big I didn't thing. think the all right option. Like, did you feel shocked by that? Yeah, I was because okay. I thought there was like th- that. That's like one of their options to mm-hmm. kill Homelander because, because I don't have any knowledge of the comics. And, and but the thing is, like another minor spoiler from the comics is like her daughter never got Gen like V power. So like that's a other big like her daughter. She's is in like a home now. She's her daughter home. is the Daryl right now. Like where it's like she could die and give a moment, but she could be very necessary for the plot going forward. So, like, I saw the daughter get into a, one of those soup homes, mm-hmm. and then we're like, Which was oh. another thing Newman desperately did not want to happen. Yeah, right. But and then dead. it ended up happening. Yep. She's dead. Yeah. So I think Huey's going to try to, like, cohort that a yeah, little bit. Yeah, that, that's the big thing, too. Like, Huey in the comics was always like, I killed A-Train. I got everything I need to do with Robin. Like, this is it. But now it's like he's trying to fight for Starlight and Victoria's kids. So, like, this is what I'm saying. Like, there's extra dynamics that I hope even when they get resolved are still resolved in a way that like feels satisfying to the audience. But then again, they could plot twist it and do 10 episodes. Like if they're going to finish it out, they haven't announced the episode count every season before this has been been eight. eight. I wouldn't be surprised if they do eight. And I know the guy that plays mother's milk has said like, I would love for them to finish this out in a movie. So maybe we do get like a mini Amazon movie. Because these fucking episodes are at least a movie long. So, like, it's not like... It's basically getting a bonus episode. It's going to be a bonus episode yeah. two years after the season's up. Probably, yeah. yeah. Depending on how they finish this all. Because, like I said, Black Noir was the big thing in the comics. And they have fully said, fuck that, in the show. So, like, I don't know if it could be Ryan. I don't I know don't either. know. I don't know, man. This is confusing now. Like, Ryan seems too immature to beat Homelander. I know. Yeah, but it would be really cool. He got a hand on Unless Homelander on. fucking kills this kid, dude. Oh. Unless they, what if they pump him up with V? No, the only thing I could think of, and this is my prediction for season five. Oh, the end of season, yeah, the end of season five. I think that if we do get Homelander being killed by some kind of like thing or whatever, it's either got to be a pumped up version of like or we, we gotta keep adding like more dude if it's com- a- what if it's Ashley no 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 I think it's like keep putting like temp V into Ryan or butcher no I think Starlight will like self-sacrifice also Starlight flying off super quick yeah. is really cool no scene. I think Starlight will self-sacrifice if they go a alternate route from the comics mm. because Black Noir was the one that defeated Homelander mm. I don't think it's going to happen. happen. I don't think so. Unless he turns, which they kind of laid seeds for that because he's like, oh, that was fucked up, blah, blah, blah. Like, so he's like half and half. I don't know, man. But bro to bro. The Deep. It's pretty good. If they kill the Deep, Black Noir might turn to like. I think think Homeland is probably going to kill. 
I'm surprised the deep has lasted this long. Yeah, no, the deep I think is the only thing that's keeping Black Noir on Homelander side. As soon as the deep like gets fucking nuked, yeah. that's it. I think that's gonna happen. So, yeah. All right. Anyway, well, we're done. Other than that, guys, season four done. We'll come back next year with season five, hopefully. Where can they find you? You can find me on the Sphere Twenty One on any social media platform right except for TikTok. I'm Oliver Khan, VA. That's it. That's all I got. All right. And you can find me at AMR Photography. You can find the studio at RNK Studios Official. And you can find this podcast at Nerd Locker Podcasts on Spotify, Apple Music, or wherever you get your podcasts. And tune in next week for a longer episode where we will be talking and breaking down everything in Deadpool, as well as announcing what we are doing for the month of August. So get ready, guys. It's going to be fucking nuts. It's going to be wild. All right, Bye. Lana. How, how'd I do? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,